A group of students at Purdue in a senior design course helped create a basic utility vehicle, or BUV, for use in Africa. They then traveled to Cameroon to help set up the manufacturing plant that would actually create the vehicle, which can carry anything from produce to people. The goal of the basic utility vehicle and what it's designed to be is affordable transportation for developing countries. And that can be anywhere from South America to Africa. There's been a lot of work in Haiti right now getting the vehicles there because of the disaster. Uh, but the goal is to have a vehicle that can be locally built, maintained, affordable. It's meant to be a day in and day out work vehicle and it can haul people or produce or uh, water, whatever the needs are in that particular area. But the BUV has several advantages. One, there's no import duty if we can build it locally. And if we can use local materials, if it breaks, they can get the same material and fix it. So it's both cheaper to build there in the first place, and then it's cheaper to maintain and operate. And then the second advantage is it actually employs the local people while they're building it. So in addition to using it, it's also a source of employment for them to build it. So the BUV that we designed for Cameroon this past year, there was a group of 20 students that worked on it from four different majors here at Purdue. So it was really neat to have a cross-disciplinary group and they all have different strengths and weaknesses, so it's good to bring them together. We designed it primarily using wood because in the area of Africa we went to, wood is very common. We used a small single cylinder diesel engine that's very common on their generator sets or their water pumps. They can get the, the engine locally. Once we get there, it takes about three weeks to build, um, but this was a prototype and so um, newer vehicles will be able to be built probably within a week. With them being able to make them out of local materials there, it's probably only about $1,500 per vehicle. It's, it's really important for them because they, they don't make near what, what we make here in the United States per day. They have a lot of resources, um, but not really raw cash to, to invest into um, a basic utility vehicle. The, the long-term goal of this project is from Purdue's standpoint to make it sustainable, we're trying to work better on getting some grants from different agencies so we can better support the students. There's a lot of interest at Purdue. We have more students than we can support financially on projects like this. So there's a lot of opportunity and we need to secure funding for that. But long-term impact then for uh, the village would be that at some point they take over, they have products that they can build, sell locally, sell in the regional villages. So if you look at what Purdue benefits from this, it's not quite as obvious on the surface. Obviously there's no money coming in from these projects. If you look at the type of graduates Purdue wants though, and Purdue has this big effort right now, Purdue 2020, and one of the aspects of that is a global awareness and able to have global impact. And Purdue is very good at impacting the state, impacting the nation, and increasing now impacting the world. And I think it's so good for our students, and coming from Purdue to do it as well, to actually have an impact in the world and uh, make the world a better place. Now, what did you take away from this experience? Um, I really learned a lot about the culture and different parts of the world that um, might not have as much as we have here and not have as access to as much as we can get here. And so um, it was very eye-opening experience. Um, I learned a little bit of French and um, how to make the most of what you have rather than, oh, just going and getting something new. The BUV is yet another example on how Purdue is having a global impact. For Boiler Bites, I'm Bitsy Matatal.